Hi friends and welcome to Miss Debbie's story time. Miss Debbie's excited to share another Scholastic book with you. This book is a great book because it teaches us about how important it is to be nice to one another. Treat everyone how you would like to be treated. But this book is involving some animals that are not being very nice to one another. It is called the cow that went oink. What sound does a cow usually make? That's right, moo. Who makes the sound oink? What animal makes the sound oink? A pig, that's right. And this book is written and illustrated by Bernard Most, the cow that went oink. There once was a cow that went oink, oink. You're going to see a lot of these little speech bubbles throughout this book. Maybe, maybe something that you've never seen before in a book, but they mean that that animal is saying something. So this cow is saying oink. The cows that went moo laughed at the cow that went oink, oink. Moo-ha, 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 moo-ha. And the other animals on the farm laughed at her too. Hee-haw-ha, neigh-ha, meow-ha, bow-wow-ha, ba-ha, cluck-ha, quack-ha, gobble-ha. Oink. Look at the cow's face. Does the cow look happy or sad? Yeah, the cow looks very sad. It doesn't feel very good when people laugh at you. The cow that went oink was very sad. Crying tears, oink. One day, she heard a friendly moo. Oink. Where's the moo coming from? It was a pig that went moo. What a surprise! Look at how happy the cow looks. Oink, moo. Well, you don't see that every day, do you? The pigs that went oink laughed at the pig that went moo. Moo, oink, oink ha, oink ha. But the pig that went moo didn't listen to them. She listened to the cow. The cow was her friend. And the cow said, oink, 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 oink. And the pig said, oink, moink. The pig is trying to say oink. And the pig that went moo tried, tried again. Oink. Oinu moo. Oinu. And again. Oink, said the cow. Oink, ooh, said the pig, until she finally went oink. Oink, 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 oink. The cow taught the pig to say oink. The pig could oink. Now she would teach the cow to moo. Moo, said the pig. Oink, said the cow. The cow that went oink tried to go moo. Moink. The rooster, the turkey, the duck laughed and laughed. Gobble ha, quack ha, cock a doodle ha. But the cow didn't listen to them. She listened to her new friend, the pig. 
Moo, 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 said the pig. The cow tried. Moink. Close. And the cow that went oink tried again. Moink. And again. Moink. Moo, said the pig. And again. Book. Moo, said the pig. Until the cow that went oink finally went moo. Moo? Moo, moo, moo? Moo, said the pig. The cow and the pig were so very happy. Each of them could moo and oink. Moo, oink. Oink, moo. Look at their faces. They're so happy. They helped each other. And they were the only animals on the farm that could do both. So they had the last laugh. Moo ha, oink ha, oink ha, moo ha. They're happy. They can say two different sounds. All the other animals can only make one. Yay, cow. Yay, pig. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Miss Debbie loves that story. And now we are going to do a craft. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now we are going to do a craft. And this craft, Miss Debbie has named a silly name. I am calling it a moink. It's a combination of a cow and a pig. And the cow and the pig made the sound moink a lot in the book. So I'm going to call this a moink because it has pig ears and it has a cow face. Now there are several different ways you can make this. Miss Debbie started with a paper plate, a regular size paper plate, and I cut the middle out. This is one base that you can use. If you don't have a paper plate, a manila folder would work because we're going to need paper that's a little bit thicker than a regular piece of paper. But if you only have a regular piece of paper, that would work too. Another option is to take a cereal box that you're, that's almost empty or that is empty and you can use the back side and just trace out a circle and cut out the middle just like we did here with our paper plate. So those are the bases that you can use for the face. Miss Debbie has made a moink that's white with black spots and pink ears. Now where everyone is different, we can also make a moink that Miss Debbie colored brown with her crayon and I cut out white spots from the inside of my paper plate that I cut out and my pink ears. And I just simply colored with crayon, or if you have marker, you can use a marker and color it whatever color you'd like. And I put on some white spots. And if you don't have pink paper, you could cut out some white paper and color it pink with a pink crayon. That's another option. The other option is, if you don't want to use colored paper, Miss Debbie loves using paper bags for her craft. So I am going to take my white paper plate here and I have simply just cut out some silly dot shapes. You can make them however you'd like. You can make them in circles. Miss Debbie kind of made them look like a peanut here, but any shape that you would like. And you're either going to use a glue stick or glue or some tape. I think for today, Miss Debbie is going to use some tape because it dries a little bit quicker and holds them on a little bit quicker. So I have my brown paper bag spot here and I am just simply going to scatter spots all around the face wherever you would like to put them. And this is going to be a white cow with brown spots. Now, after I put on some spots all around, then I am going to attach my pig ears. Miss Debbie lost the start of her tape. Has that ever happened to you? There we go.
go. I found it. And I have my two pink ears. And like I said, if you don't have pink paper, you can simply just draw a pink ear on paper and color it and cut it out. Or you could use another color. It doesn't have to be pink. Miss Debbie just wanted them to look like pig ears. So I am now going to attach some pig ears. onto my face here. Now the last thing that you are going to need is something to hold up your Moink mask with. I have used a straw here. I just taped it on the back. Or a popsicle stick that I stapled on with a stapler. Or if you don't have anything to hold it up with, you can simply use it with your hands and hold it in front of your face like this. And then you can make the sound moink, just like our cow and our pig did. Well, I hope you have fun with that craft. I hope you have fun moinking around with your mask. And until we see each other again next week, stay happy and healthy, my friends. I miss you so much. Bye.